Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to yet another update. It has kind of been a month. I think they're now becoming more like every month and a half, but it's Gran Turismo 7 update 1.52. Now with this one, immediately when I saw what was happening, I was incredibly disappointed. Because all I saw was the same typical update that we've been getting these past couple of months. Or actually, probably past half a year. This last update prior where we got Iger Norvan was actually kind of a unique one. But for the rest of it, it's been pretty mundane. Which has been, we've got three new cars. The Nissan GTR Premium Edition Spec 24, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8 MR GSR 2004, and finally the Toyota Hi Ace Van DX 2016. And then, of course, we got new scapes, we got a couple of new events, and there are a couple of events that now have Sophie AI. And again, I started thinking of this video as talking about the end of life of Gran Turismo again, as I have a tendency to do quite frequently these days. I get the feeling that next update is going to be kind of a big one because it's going to like have the high fidelity mode of 8K 60 frame for the PlayStation Pro implementation. So I don't think we're going to get another update until <sighs> first week of December is my thought. But then, as I was feeling rather depressed about this whole update, and feeling rather depressed about a lot of things, I started to take a look at Reddit, and I found that the general consensus was not depression, but actually excitement. And I was super confused until I saw this again. So again, as you guys recall, this is the third new vehicle of this update, the Toyota Hi Ace van. And I'll be honest, this was the only car that looked slightly interesting to me when I saw the other cars, because it's yet another GTR and yet another Lancer Evo. We've got vans before, but this is kind of a weird one. And then the community said, have you tried customizing this? So we're in GT Auto. Let's start with our front. Got a couple interesting bumpers. And then we got some mud flaps and a couple of different uh, window options there. We'll add the mud flaps, sure. And then we'll go for kind of a clean look in the back. Wings. Gotta love wings. Racing items, the typical stuff. Other parts. Front grill, let's take a look at the grills. Perfect. So, I mean, it looks okay, I'll be honest. But then, people are saying, check out some of the liveries. And immediately, it's been, what, a day? And we have 16 pages. So this is now becoming a hugely fan favorite car. I mean, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> and half of these are for wide cars. So let's, oh God. So, all right, let's, let's wide out the car now. <laughs> Still my favorite animation, period. All right, you have to admit that this is kind of frickin' sick. <laughs> Look at this damn van. <laughs> so legit. So we're now in our modded out customized van. Oh God, the, the pitching is horrible. <laughs> you just lightly tap on the brakes and the entire center of gravity just shoots forward. And because we've added all these modifications, we've added all sorts of, oh God, the pitching again. <laughs> we've added all sorts of weight. We've added all sorts of just absolutely unnecessary garbage. 
we're still only at 295 power points, which makes sense because this is a van when stock is supposed to deliver goods and we're struggling to get up to 70 miles an hour. I think this is even easy difficulty. And we've finally got within a second of the person in front of us and we have two oh nope nope he's actually pulling away now god damn it <laughs> so again i'm sitting here going why is everybody so obsessed with this stupid van i mean yeah it looks fun but why are we so like interested in it we're back in gt auto and this is the reason why for 300 grand we can get an LS7 BRZ engine swap. All right, here we go. Why not? <laughs> and we'll add a couple of these, a couple of those. Uh, I've got recent softs, and then we'll just add one of those. Why not? And then I saw on Reddit somebody do this. We're in. St. Croix, Layout C, in the Hypercar Parade. Now, this is a tune that I have not really played around with. I just kind of put all the power, all the things on it, and it drives horribly. Like, you, you hit the brakes hard, and, like, the thing will just kill you. You hit the gas too hard, it, it will also kill you. So, it is incredibly difficult to drive but as you can tell we're kind of keeping up and i don't know how and this is just absolutely crazy to me is that we've got this random van that was added you could do an engine swap and the community is like oh yeah by the way it can like keep up with oh god <laughs> with hyper cars So that's more or less the discussion that I wanted to have here today is that with all the things that we as a community talk about, about how Gran Turismo is dying and it's like the end of life and all the rest of it, I actually wanted to talk more about the community at hand because with everything being said, like we're in a place where we know that this game is not really going to be like we'll get a couple more tracks maybe we'll get a couple of physics adjustments sure will we get more than 30 cars i don't think so but from the way that this game started to where it is now it is completely different and I think us as a community are understanding of that and are very appreciative of it. And we're just happy to have a game to really just play and enjoy and do dumb stuff like this. <laughs> so with all that being said, how are we doing 200 miles an hour? My brakes are not going to be able to deal with this. Oh God, help. So that all being said, this might be a shorter video, but I just wanted to say a shout out to the Gran Turismo community for taking what is normally a not a great update and just running with it and saying, we got a van. Like we have a van now. We've had vans before, but does your van keep up with Enzo's? No, it doesn't. My van does. <laughs> I think the last time we had a similar excitement for this game, it was with the High Medic, and that was only like two updates ago or something like that. And I'm hoping that Bluff and Digital are keeping watch or keeping an eye on things. Because if they realize that we can get this excited over this game by getting a van, sure, give us more Lancers, give us more GTRs, but make sure to add something like weirdly quirky in Japanese in the update as well. 
because seeing Reddit and seeing Twitter and seeing everything, how everybody is so excited over this stupid van is making me excited. For what, a nearly two and a half year old game at this point? Year and a half year old game, sorry. So yeah, update 1.52. We got a couple of new things, sure. But the biggest thing that we got out of this is a greater appreciation of what we have. Because these updates don't have to continue. They don't. So I'm actually really happy that I'm a part of the Gran Turismo community now, because even with all these updates that were like, oh, I wish we had another track, I wish we had this. Getting new vans is always fun. <laughs> so let me know down in the comment section what you guys are thinking. If you guys are just kind of waiting out for the PS5 Pro update and then just waiting for this waiting for Polyphony to announce Gran Turismo 8. Or if you're kind of like myself, where it's like, hey, you know, a new update came out, might as well play with it a little bit. Might as well mod out the van a little bit, you know? <laughs> so again, uh, let me know all... Oh, God. <laughs> let me know all of you guys' opinion down in the comment section. And of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.